This is insane. But it's real. And it's happening. I, I, I get that, that you, your son just died and you're, you're, you're an emotional wreck, clearly, but you have snapped. If you think you have anything real with my husband, it's an illusion, Kim. So you keep saying? Because it is. Franco was subjected to that hideous procedure and now he's delusional and you have taken advantage of him. My God, I have made every excuse in the book for you because of grief, because of this, because of that. But you know what? Really, there is no excuse. You just slept with a married man. He is not married in his heart. I have a marriage certificate and three boys at home who say otherwise. Okay, and I'm sorry for that. But it's Drew's life. And he knows what he's choosing. He is not Drew. And he can't choose anything because he's not in his right mind. Franco doesn't know what he's doing. But you, you do, and you did it anyway. That is unforgivable. Okay, you, you, you know what, Elizabeth? What, Kim? It would be unforgivable if I went out and seduced your husband and then I tore your family apart. Yeah, that's exactly what you've done. No, your family was already torn. The man who walked out of here is not Franco. You're, he's, he's not your husband, and then that's horrible for you. But you you are acting like, like I did this, like I implanted the memories and I set this whole thing in motion. Drew wanted this. We both did. If you call him that one more time. Hey, okay, look, I, I understand you have every right to be angry because if the roles were reversed, I sure as hell would be. But Franco is gone. And you can't get him back any more than I can get Oscar back. Watch me. We can reverse the procedure. And when that happens, my husband will be back. And there will be no true. How, how are you going to do that? When there is no science that says it's possible. Andre Maddox believes it is. Really? I mean, does he? Because Drew's memories, they weren't a flash drive. It was something real. It was tangible. Unlike Drew now. Well, there's no baseline for Franco. I mean, there's nothing to be re-implanted. So, so how are you going to get his memories back? I don't know, but I know it can be done. You're not facing reality. Oh. I'm not facing reality. This is a completely untested and untried experimental procedure. And then the sad thing with these medical experiments is that the vast majority of the time they fail. So why? Why, why do you think that this is, is going to work? I mean, is it just because you want it to? And so does Franco, and so do my boys. They need him. <sighs> Please. Excuse me? Oh, come on. I, I heard enough from Oscar about... Cam's opinion on Franco. So don't put it on Cam, don't put it on the boys, because this has to do with you. And it's sad, because Franco doesn't exist anymore. Drew is here. He has a right to make his own choice. And he did. Elizabeth, he didn't choose you. I didn't ask for any of this. I hope you know that. I really do wish that there was some way that I could help you and your mom and your brothers, but I'm just never going to be the man that you need me to be. But there's a chance that you could. I'd convince the doctor to come Okay, I'm going to stop you right there, Calvin. I'm not going to give up who I am. I'm not going to give up the woman that I love or the life that I have. Not even if that means you don't get the person that you love so much back. I'm not entirely sure. But you are leaving poor Charles. I think it's just too difficult for everybody if I stick around. Before you leave, can I tell you a little bit about the man you're replacing? 